Just What We Needed by Susan P. Sorn. New York City, the Saturday after the horror of 9-11. I had just gotten to the first of my three clown jobs for that day when I discovered that I had left my bag of twisting balloons at home. Twisting balloons are the ones you use to make balloon animals. I was just getting ready to tell the birthday mom that these kids were going to have a balloonless birthday party when I noticed some balloons that had been left in the bottom of my suitcase. With that, I checked the outside compartment of my suitcase and noticed some more leftover balloons. Okay, I thought, this would be enough for the party. But what about the next two parties? Would I have enough time to make it home to get my bag of balloons and make it back on time for my next two parties? It's not like you can find this special type of balloon easy in a store. After the first party, I was walking briskly to the subway in full clown attire since I had to get home quickly to grab some more balloons. But there was a barrier by one of the fire stations. Going around this would mean walking a few blocks out of my way definitely making me late. I tried to cut through, but I was stopped by one of the firemen. With panic in my voice, I told him I needed to get to the subway ASAP or I was going to be late for both of my jobs. He thought about it and then he responded, I'll make you a deal with you clown. I'll let you through on one condition, that you go into the station and entertain the kids for a couple of minutes. I agreed without hesitation. When I walked into the back room of the station, I noticed eight sad children sitting at a long table coloring. After trying to cheer them up as best as I could with sticks and jokes, I felt it still wasn't enough. Just on a whim, I reached into my pockets, which originally were balloonless. There I found exactly eight balloons. I made balloon animals for all eight kids, putting smiles on those sad faces and then headed for my next job. I still hadn't figured what to do about my lack of balloons. When I got to my next party, I again opened up my suitcase, which I could have sworn I emptied out at my last gig and noticed some more balloons. I even had enough balloons to make up for the popped ones. On the way to my last party, I was approached by some more kids requesting balloons. Yep, you guessed it. I reached into my pockets and there they were. It happened again when I got to my last party, as well as being approached by some more kids on the way home. Balloons just seemed to be materializing out of nowhere. Every one of those balloons was a small miracle for a child. I still don't know how it happened, but I know it was just what we needed on that very sad weekend. Not everything we experience can be explained by logic or science.